Well, this is um, a tough video to shoot. Yeah. And um, the thumbnail is not clickbait. We really <laughs> did get yeah. rid of the bike. Uh, we really sold the bike. Mm -hmm. um, man, I'm bummed. It went as fast as we had it. Well, we had it for, for a couple of months. Yeah, two months. And uh, I was really hoping that it would work out longer term than that. I mean, yeah. um, and the reason why, we'll go ahead and tell you the reason why. The reason why is health, again. Um, Unexpected. Thought it was going to be fine. Um, thought we were in the clear. And that's why we rented the motorcycle and started just in the road for several hours. And because we wanted to do our due diligence and wanted yeah. to, you know, and we mm -hmm. rode this, this bike. We test rode it and it felt good. The seat felt great. Yeah. Um, but it just kind of all of a sudden came back. I would say, I'm not a doctor, <laughs> yeah. but everybody's a doctor these days yeah best guess would be for it to come back like that says that it's excessive long usage repetitive is what brought it back yeah if you rode i think very rarely it would take a forever to find this out again i don't want to ride rarely but i well, i know <laughs> but i'm assuming because we were riding a lot we were. That. Because it felt fine. Yeah. And I think that's what brought it back. It's back to the original issue. So much long term running, then you having issues. Yeah. Why? We stop, do physical therapy, test ride. It's great. But then you go back to a lot of riding and it's working its way back again. Yeah. And so I'll describe for you what it feels like for me riding the motorcycle. And I'm assuming that it's just the way that I sit in the seat and the way my legs has to be. come up, just that angle. It's pinching somehow. It has to be because what it feels like is inside of my hip, it feels like like right at that socket point. Um, it will just seize up. It will just, yeah. the numbness is not there, but it just, it's, it's like a Charlie horse. So it grabs, and the only way to relieve that is to stand up which is not when nice. i yeah when i <laughs> when i stand up it almost immediately goes away right. yeah um so but when you're the in sitting the sitting position yeah when you're in the middle bike. of the ride and that thing grabs a hold of you i'm telling you what you gotta stop the bike and yeah. you gotta stand up right now stretch it out um and that's not always safe <laughs> no and it's a bigger deal now <clears throat> because i mean it's always been a big deal because a life could be at risk multiple not just yours but yeah. anybody that's around you if you were to have an accident well and now yours but now i'm on the back so now yeah. we're risking two lives at the same time it was different when we had our own bikes yeah. we're risking our lives on bikes but not the likelihood of an accident combined right taking us both out was slim and if if, if we were still on separate bikes i might be more inclined to try to just ride it out but yeah. I'm not going to do that with you in the back. I'm but just that would have made me mad because that's how we got to the point the first time. You hit yeah. it for so long till you couldn't take it anymore. Yeah. And if I wouldn't have known, if we were still on separate bikes and it was doing that and you didn't tell me, I'd kill you. So, <laughs> so it's been, um, it's just been exhausting on, on, on the, so many levels. Yeah. Um, financially, we took a hit. Yes, um, we did. Just because, you know, we had to sell the bike back. We had to do it pretty quickly because we already have plans yeah. all the way through January and yeah. to get back what we put into it, we would have to sell it privately. And so yeah. you gotta kinda stay in one spot and put it on the market and just hope uh, that it sells. Yeah. Um, and we're already getting ready to move from one spot and so we checked into some of the local dealers uh, mm -hmm. and we got what we could for it. And Well, yeah, and we, we got what <clears throat> we wanted from a dealer. Like we we know we've been in the bike world long yeah, enough we knew to we know weren't gonna... what they're gonna do for us. Yeah. And our worst case scenario that we could tolerate, we actually they did offer that. So. Yeah, and we knew we weren't gonna get what we owed, um, so Not we from just a dealer, we no. just took that hit, yeah. and uh, so that one stung. Yeah, it stings. Um. So and then, you know, the the mental hit 
that we took. Oh, yeah, because we were so stoked on all the things we were going to do with this bike. And not only that is now it's in it it, it for me. You know, being a you know combat veteran with PTSD, it helped me. Yeah. You know, even when you're on the back and we're together, it was kind of like alone time because I'm out there. You know, but we had our separate music playing. Yeah. So it's just you know, it's kind of so like you zone my out and you're just time chill. and just relax and chill, and yeah. that that helped me a lot. And I was feeling a lot of that. You know, it's been help great weather again. Out so here too. we have been riding a lot, yeah. and um, so. That is now in my head that I don't have that anymore. I'm sure I'll find yeah. other ways to, to deal with that. I always have. But yeah. um, the other thing that gets in your head is, will I ever be able to ride again? That That is a question because... Well, I, am I even willing to try it try. again because of the, you know... Well, we definitely won't buy a bike. <clears throat> no. We would have to, I don't know, or buy some really cheap bike and ro keep riding it and riding it to yeah. see if it happens. We won't... And so Get nice. I think the only way that I that we ever would try it is, you know, after this whole RV stuff is we're maybe over, around. we're stationary. Um, I can I can get it, like a little cheap <laughs> bike to yeah, ride just around a for, thousand dollar bike. you know, uh, and then it, you know when we're stationary, then too I'm actively engaged in physical therapy. I can that go was, on a regular basis. To to, it's um, back to the therapist so, to see what they you know, think. I would never say never. But it's probably not going to happen while we're on the road. No, yeah, I bet it's safe to say. Yeah, and it can't I, happen while we're on the road. Yeah, yeah, and so I just don't, I just don't see it happening. And that that's heartbreaking. That's it is very heartbreaking. And the other part of it was the physical hit that we took, you know, physically doing the work of and the research of finding the bike buying the bike, all the logistics of it, getting it tagged and titled and licensed uh, from, from here, getting it titled through Alabama, getting the hitch, doing that video work, working with John and his team over at Atlas Hitch and all that which stuff. Which was also depressing to have to tell him oh, man. Yeah. that we need to give him his hitch bag. <laughs> yeah. Because so, there's no point in having it anymore. Yeah, nothing good in this video. No. <laughs> really. It just sucks, man. It did. It sucks. There's nothing good about it. Nothing good came from this. Yeah. So, a lot of, <laughs> no. um, you know, I don't regret trying it. Because um, no, that's hate... the only way we knew. It's the only way we knew. Yeah, but I hate when you get your hopes up and you think you're good and then reality smacks you back into place. Like, no, oh, yeah. you're not good. Okay. And now going through this a second time. time. Yeah. Getting rid of motorcycles again. Thought you were cured. <laughs> So, um, man, you just can't help what no, your physical you ailments, can't. and it's not worth the risk. No, and we wouldn't continue to just do it, just and it to wasn't, have it. It wasn't like I'll take a financial hit over, yeah, risking our health and safety. It wasn't like when it locks up, I get off the bike, I stand up, it goes away, I get back on the bike, and we can ride for another half hour. Yeah, Once no. it locks up, it's locked up, man, and so I get the relief when I stand up. But now you're. It's still a while before you... 50 miles from home, you're on the motorcycle. The only way you get home is on the motorcycle. And as soon as you sit back down, it locks back up. So yeah. we were literally stopping every couple of miles to get off the bike and stand up. And it's just... Yeah. And you got to find a, try to find a safe place to pull off. And all the while, I mean, it's like intense pain. Yeah. It's all you can think about and all you can focus on. So you're not really being safe rider either because you're thinking about the pain yeah. you're not thinking about all the cars around you and you know the rules of the road yeah. you're like i gotta get off the road because this freaking hurts yeah and it's nerve-wracking as a passenger because you're not in control of anything yeah and and you really couldn't even tell it's how grip on my handles like yeah Ugh. i would just <laughs> lean back and say I, I get pull, i'm pulling over i'm pulling over you know yeah. and sometimes it was just on the side of the freaking road yeah so, well, it's cool though. We had some people stop <laughs> and yeah. check on us, like, "Hey, yeah. you're okay. You need a ride. You need a call." Because yes, yeah, kind of like the biker code. I mean, you, you stop. People yeah. will stop, mm -hmm. and even people stopped in their cars who were bikers. Yeah, because bikers stop for bikers. Smokers. Yeah, and they just stop and say, "Hey, man, you good?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm. I just gotta take a break we're for a second. Like, we just got cramp. We'll yeah, <sighs> bummer. Yeah. So, it's, it is what it is. Yeah. But super pumped. Yeah, it's just, it's 
just the e-bikes now. It's the closest you'll get to a motorized bike right now. I'm sorry. It's not funny. <laughs> it's a little funny. But hey, you gotta roll with it, man. Not not e-bikes got a throttle. Yeah. You you can get a little speed that way. It's not just in the in the RV world and traveling that you have to kind of roll with the punches. It's just yeah. life in general. So we're yeah. gonna we're gonna roll with it. We're gonna make the best out of it. We're basically gonna go back to doing what we've been doing. Yeah. And try to just forget that. block it out, <laughs> pretend it never existed. Yeah. But we appreciate all of your kind words um, and encouragements and. Um, I know that some of you are bummed too. You were super excited when you heard that we had a motorcycle yeah, and gave us encouragement. Prior motor, pe motorcycle people and prior motorcycle people like that yeah, was in their younger days too. and they don't do yeah. it anymore. They were thrilled that we were able to get back on. Yeah. And so maybe again one day, but uh, not anytime soon. Yeah. And uh, I guess a wrap for this video. I'm ready to just stop talking about it. <laughs> I know, I know people. <laughs> just brings it yeah, all back up to the oh. surface. But hey, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. Uh, and if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. We appreciate you watching. We will get through this. <laughs> See you next time. Wayward Wag Strong. <laughs>